guys. Uh, so yesterday, uh, Valve released a new update for CSGO. Um, I was actually away yesterday, so I didn't actually see this until this morning. Um, so let's just have a quick look through what the latest updates and changes are. Um, so as you can see from the first, uh, first update is a close to Operation Bloodhound. Um, I'll be honest, I never actually played any of the Operation Bloodhound um, game, so I don't really doesn't really affect me at all. Um, the Falaushian case is actually now available in drops for all players. Um, I actually saw this uh, this morning. I saw a few guys actually get some drops of the of the case, so that's quite that's quite cool. Um, so the biggest change now is to the gameplay. Uh, as you know, a few days ago, I've released an update um, which reduced the price of the Zeus to $100. They've actually increased it to $200. Um, and the most fascinating thing is they've reduced the kill award to $0. So there's no strategic benefit um, in terms of the economy to actually get a kill with the Zeus apart from showboating. Um, again, it's still a one one hit kill, which is effective, um, but in terms of um, getting any cash for the kill, um, it's completely worthless now, um, which is a, a big surprise. Um, and they've also reduced um, the max player speed of running with the Zeus as well, so it's uh, 220. Next, they've done some UI changes, uh, new music kits. I'll be honest, I'm not really a big fan of these music kits. I mean, mostly used in public play for most players. Uh, I'm not really sure why people want want them or, or why they would even pay the, the prices that you have to for them. Um, I see that there's some sort of stat track versions now. Um, so I guess it's how many times you get your um, gold stars um, and it records how many times you get that, I guess. I don't know. It just seems a bit crazy to me. I mean, I can understand why Valve do it. It's a money-making machine. Um, but back in the uh, early days of 1.6, it was all about the gameplay. Um, so hopefully a lot of people still feel that it's still about the gameplay and not about the, the overhype of all of these new um, skins and all of the, the music kits, you know. I think I quite like the skins, I'll be honest. Some of them have really nice designs. As for the music kits, um, not not a fan. Don't really understand that. But, oh well, maybe I'm just getting too old. Um, another thing that is quite important, actually, I think, to the gameplay um, in the competitive matches, um, if you go solo queue or whatever, is they've changed the uh, warm up and half time communications where before you could um, talk to the opposite team, which was a bad thing because everyone just flamed each other and was just being griefing to each other, which was a complete waste of time. And now uh, they've turned that off, so you only talk to your own team, which I think is much better. Um, again, they describe it as um, discussing player roles and strategies. I'm pretty sure that's to stop all the griefing and the abuse that each other, that each teams give each other. Um, so, I mean, that's the, the latest update. Uh, no doubt the Zeus will probably change again at some point in the next update if they feel it's not performing how they thought it would. I mean, obviously, a lot more people were using the Zeus uh, with <clears throat> with it dropping to $100 because it was affordable um, and you, you got reward money, but now you don't get anything and they've upped the price. So there you go. That's the latest update that was released uh, on the 1st of October. Um, if you guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, cheers.